I want one thing. I don't know how old you are, but I know you've paid the rent in this business. I know you've spent a lot of time in the game. Anthony, at this point in your life, in your life, you probably envision that you'd have the best sales team in the country by now. And you probably don't. But you, you want it. My question is, we don't get what we want, we get what we, do, what we earn. We don't deserve anything. The people that think they deserve something, that walk around with that I've arrived feeling, dude, they get their ass kicked, and I'm sorry to cuss, but by people who have that chip on their shoulder. And say, hey, I, I, I don't wanna do this, I don't have to do this. You're right, you don't have to do anything. But there is an owner. There's, a, there's nothing worse than believing in somebody and then them not showing up for you. There's nothing worse than it. And would you agree that most automotive sales pros, we'll call them most automotive car salesmen are amateurs, they're not professionals. Would you agree? Correct. So how do we win? What is the Achilles heel? What is the unfair advantage? This is what it is. Number one, you guys are all really busy. So I'm, I'm, I, get, I get it. But what, guys, the time's gonna pass whether you make no money or a lot of money, am I right? Okay, my question is, you were busy all year long, okay? Did we get to the number we wanted to be at and did we exceed it? And then in 2023, what's gonna be the number again? And how are we gonna get to these numbers? It will be by your ability to pull out the potential of all the people that you have that work for you and lead them. So what we have to do is we have to focus on two types of resources. Number one, Richard, we take the resources that people already have within them. Okay, like people want to fight for their family. Some people want to you know, break generational curses. They've been broke their whole life and that this is their way out, right? And we need to let those people know that, listen to me, everything that you've ever wanted in your life and more you can get in this, in this business. All you have to do is be a professional and you have to understand every day how to kick your own butt in this business so you can figure out where your holes are. We look for leaks, leaks in our games, and we work on those together and we make you sharper, okay? Is your sales team better than you, yes or no? No. That's a problem. That's a problem. Just so everybody can be aware of this, I want my sales team 10 times better than me. If I'm any way, shape, or form of a great leader, I've got 60 guys that work for me, every day I tell them my, my goal is to make you 10 times better than me. If I don't make you 10 times better than me, then I'm not your leader. See, leaders don't make followers, leaders make leaders. And I, and I just, all I want you guys to know is that all I want to do, and I'm so crazy, guys. I'm so psycho obsessed with growing your, your team. I don't want to mess with your life. I want to make you more money. When this market shifts, I don't want you to go back home and take a pay cut and explain to your wife, give her the old wah, 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 market shifted, shit changing, we had two good years, now we're back to normal. What's normal? Normal, I want to be abnormal. I want you guys to understand this. I don't want to become civilized. I don't want to be the nor normal car dealership that I walk into where the showroom floor is dead quiet and then guess what? Everybody's looking around like they don't want to be here. I don't want that. I want my culture, my company to be on fire. I want to create fire breathing dragon salespeople that love serving their customers at the highest level and giving them world class customer service. It doesn't matter what happened to you when you sold. What happens is how can you create your team to go where they want to go. So here's what I always say is this, resources. Number one, people have resources inside of them. Energy, fire, commitment. Why are they working? Why are they here? What are the reasons? Is it for their family? Is it because they want money? Is it because they want to be accepted and be a part of something? Hey, maybe it's all. But number two, be the example. Let's set the tone, set the pace, set the standard, raise our standards. Let's go back to training, human capital. Let's make our people the best in the world. I want you guys to walk on your showroom floors and be, and be proud of your team. And then this right here, this is called the good stuff in life. Am I right? Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.